What's up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of Film Session. So Indiana really let Max Klesman get going in the second half, as he scored 23 of his team-high 26 points after the break. Some defensive breakdowns from the Hoosiers allowed Klesman some early looks from three-point range, and at one point he connected on four three-pointers in a three-and-a-half-minute span, and stretched out the contest when it looked like Indiana might make a game of it before he helped shut the door. Let's take a look at what happened on those four three-pointers. First up with the Hoosiers down 10, Klesman gets a ball screen from Crawl, and Indiana switches with Renew picking up Klesman and Galway moving on to Crawl. Klesman gets Renew in the air on a fake, kicks to the corner, and then cuts to the basket. Galway then calls out for Sparks to move to him on the help. Sparks does, but here's where things break down. Renew is expecting to pick back up Crawl from the initial Galway switch, but it's now Sparks on Crawl after his help defense and Galway's on wall. That allows Klesman to leak to the right corner unaccounted for, and he hits the three-pointer. On our next play, Kral gets the ball off the left low block, and Cups begins sinking down towards him and off his man Klesman. Hepburn then comes to essentially screen a potential Cups recovery. Galloway points it out, but Kral passes it out, and despite a decent closeout from Galloway, realizing he's going to have to do it, it's another three-pointer for Klesman. With the Hoosiers able to pull within seven at this juncture of the game, this time around it's another post from Kral on the opposite side of the court, and Indiana is more aggressive with its attention, as Galloway throws a hard double on him. With Cups monitoring the perimeter, he appears to be rotating out to Klismet, but on the unfreeze, we see Cups bounce away from him, potentially to ward off a Hepburn cut through the lane behind him. It allows Klismet to relocate. He catches with plenty of space for his third three in this sequence. The broadcast misses the initial baseline inbounds from Wisconsin here, but we see Galway having to fight around two screens to stick with Klismet. His final three-pointer in this sequence was a heat check, as he hit this tough shot and got fouled in the process, making his free throw to punch the lead out to 14 for Wisconsin. After seeing the ball go through the basket a few times, that's how heat checks happen. And that's all she wrote for this edition of Film Session.